Whoa. Okay, that looks pretty freaking sweet. But as he said, it's going to close behind me. Wish me luck. Portal to Paradise. Let's see how paradise it really is. Whoa. I've arrived in Cameron's Paradise. The portal closes behind me. I must find Mankar Cameron, kill him, and recover the Amulet of Kings. Look how beautiful this place is. Holy crap. Looks a lot like what I'd imagine Somerset Isle to look like. Huh. So, Whoa. the cat's paw of the Septims arrives at last. You didn't think you could take me unawares, here of all places, in the paradise that I created. Look now upon my paradise. Gaia Alata in the old tongue, a vision of the past and the future. Hmm. Gaia Alata, a vision of the past and the future. I see, he's hailing back to the mythic era? Is that what he's trying to say it looked like? Oh, come on, we're gonna fight Daedra here. I just got done killing hundreds of you. That's alright, we'll deal with it. Stop sidestepping these arrows, they're very hard to find. Oh, give me a break, woman. That's it. That was really weird. He, like, was talking to my conscious. Oh, look. I sat you on. You're going down. You don't like fire. Bye. Hope we came for the savage god. Where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny, to rule over Tamriel Reborn. If you are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, the garden will not hold you for long. Lift your eyes to Kerek Agayala, my seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you there. Okay, gonna wait for me at the pinnacle of this place. Let's not tarry, because all you end up doing... I think my spell resistance is making it so they can't even touch me, because he keeps saying resisted. Oh, who's this? Hey, hey, wait. Ascended... Oh! He's being attacked. Well, that sucks. Uh, excuse me. Stay away! You! How can you be here? No matter. You are too late to stop Lord Dagon's victory. Soon we will return to Tamriel to rule over it as lords. While you will remain here in the Eternal Garden forever. Hmm. Tell me about Gaiar Alata. Gaiar Alata is the master's name for this place. We usually just call it Paradise. This is the Savage Garden. At the top of that mountain lies the Terrace of Dawn, which leads up to Mankar Cameron's palace, Carrick Agayalor. Beneath the mountain lies the Forbidden Grotto, the only way out of the Savage Garden. Of course it is. Of course it is. Tell me more about the Forbidden Grotto. The Forbidden Grotto is the only way out of the Savage Garden. Those who earn the Master's favor are given the Bands of the Chosen and allowed to leave the garden. Bands of the Chosen, you say? Those favored by the Master to wear the bands may enter the Forbidden Grotto and leave this savage garden forever. That's pretty much what you just said. Okay. The Master will soon deal with you. Uh, I'm gonna deal with you now, actually. You're in paradise, but I don't think you're gonna be ruling over anything now that you're dead. Yeah, so much for that. Come to paradise, where you will be lords over the land until the hero of Kavat shows up and smashes your face in with the Crusader sword. Then you won't get jack. Oh! Also, you'll be killed by the own my own Daedra who roamed the garden. Well, that's funny. 
kind of got like a Garden of Eden kind of feel to it. It's, it's nice. It's like an elven Garden of Eden. I don't know. Kind of what I've always envisioned anyway. Shall we cast the Hurry Up spell? I think we should reslot that now that the battle for Broom is over. Let's get a freaking move on, shall we? Boom. Where am I supposed to go? Does it give me no markers in here? Nope. But it did say the the Forbidden Grotto. Oh, is this a Dramora? Hey. Hey. You destroyed the Sigil Tower at Ganona. My kin say you fought well. What? I seek Mankar Cameron. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. What do you want then? There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring me honor to defeat you. But you shamed my kin at Ganona to bring you into my service. That would also bring me honor. So I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle? Or offer me service? Hmm. I choose battle. Your mind follows the simple path. The choice of an animal. But you have courage at least. Oh man, got him. You can do a little side quest for him that's kind of cool, but we're not doing it. Oh my gosh, I'm still on fire? Well, that thing burns for a while. Like a Dramora STD. Alright, let's uh, heal up here, or repair. Bands of the Chosen. Weakness to fire, 50% on self. Oh, perfect. Yeah, just what I wanted. I have the Bands of the Chosen. I should find the door to the Forbidden Grotto and see if he was telling the truth. Okay. Let's do How it. How little you understand. Oh. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their masters. The cold harbor of Meridia, Periite's quagmire, the ten moon shadows of Mithala and... and Dawn's beauty, the princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. See, so he's talking about all the different realms of existence, uh, and he's saying that the yes, realm... Yes, oh, you the... understand now. <laughs> Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. Well, that was uh, kind of crazy, guys, in my head. Right as I was talking about what it was, he's like, You do understand. That was kind of awesome, actually. I don't know if that was intentional, like there's a big pause, or if I took one centimeter forward and triggered it, but... Yeah, so you see his argument. He's arguing that back in the mythic era, Mayrun's Dagon, this was... You know, the world was his realm and got taken from him. Which could or could not be true, but regardless... I guess now we gotta head in here. Oh, I have to put on these bands. The bands glow red briefly as they lock around your wrist. Well, that's good. Kind of some unique looking... Uh, replace our gloves. Which means we're gonna be weaker to fire, which sucks. We're gonna have to deal with it. Into the flooded grotto we go. Ask yourself. 
How is it that mighty gods die, yet the Daedra stand incorruptible? How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to man, while the gods cower behind statues and the faithless words of traitor priests? It is simple. They are not gods at all. The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. The Daedra are the true gods of this universe. Julianos, Dibella, and Stondar are all Lorcan's betrayers, posing as divinities in the principality that has lost its guiding light. What are scholarship, love, and mercy when compared to fate, night, and destruction? The gods you worship are trifling shadows of first causes. They have tricked you for ages. Interesting. Why do you think your world has always been contested ground, the arena of powers and immortals? It is Tamria, the realm of change, brother to madness, sister to deceit. Your false gods could not entirely rewrite history. Thus you remember tales of Lorcan vilified, a dead trickster whose heart came to Tamria. But if a god can die, how does his heart survive? He is Daedroth! Tamrielai Daedroth! This heart is the heart of the world, for one was made to satisfy the other. You all remember this. It is in every legend. Daedra cannot die, so your so-called gods cannot erase him from your minds completely. That is really interesting because he's right. Daedra, I don't know if I mentioned this, Daedra cannot be killed. They can be destroyed to a point where it takes them like hundreds or thousands of years to rebuild their strength. But they can't be destroyed. Aedra can actually be killed. Uh, it's kind of one of those interesting things because they gave up part of their power to create the world when Lorcan tricked them. But the Daedra did not. They were the ones who... Mortals view as selfish. So, kind of interesting the point of view the guy's coming from that the Daedra are the true god and the Aedra are not. Kind of, some ways it makes some sense. The Forbidden Grotto. The bands emit a red glow and the door opens. Okay. I've entered the Forbidden Grotto. Now to find my way through to the Terrace of the Dawn where I hope to find Mankar Cameron and the Amulet of Kings. A lot of Daedra in here. I don't know if this guy's gonna attack me or not. This guy in the red robe, let's just sneak up here. Oh, yeah, they're gonna fight. Probably should have just went for the stealth shot when I had the chance. I thought he was gonna have dialogue or something. He just kind of looked like standing there by himself. Those are people in those cages, too. I found that interesting. Thought everybody that was here was here for good their good deeds to Lord Dagon. So we have really oblivion. Mankar Cameron's whole argument is an argument of who the true gods are and and why people in Tamriel should want the Daedra to come rule again because they're the real gods. They are the traditional gods. They had a lot of power when the world was first made. He's just mad because Tyver Septim became a god. He doesn't like that one bit. Look at Cage. Is there someone stuck in there? Let's get him out of there. Hey! Oh crap, but then she goes down? Well, that's not good. Let's talk to this guy in this cage. Can we? Oh, Judas. This is a mess. I, well, they can't. I don't know they can die or not what the deal is there strong potions of each let's keep rolling you wear the bands, oh but you're no prisoner who are you what are you doing here I'm here to kill Mankar Cameron can you really do it can you bring this eternal nightmare to an end what can you defeat Mankar Cameron 
and free all the souls of the poor fools who followed him? Listen, I can help you. You need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. Why would you help me? I was at the sack of Kvach. They had no chance. We took them by surprise, and we carried the walls in the first assault. But they fought on anyway, desperately. They seemed to think this decadent, mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after the battle was over. Three townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my weakness, the Master sent me here to torture my former comrades who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. Oh, wow. Okay, this is getting dark really quick. Interesting to hear the other end of the, uh, you know, another perspective on the other end of the conflict. Um, how can you help me? No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open, and there is no other way out. I can remove them, but I will need time. The Dremora Overseer will be here any minute to check up on me. You need to play along until he leaves. Just act like a prisoner, and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. Fine, I'll play along. Good. Follow me, and don't worry. You can trust me. <laughs> you can trust me, I'm just a part of the Mythic Dawn. Oh great, we have to get in that freaking cage, don't we? Uh oh, here comes the Dramora. What's going on here? Who's this? A prisoner sent in by. Show me some respect, worm. Unless you want to end up in the cages with them. Yes, Kinreeve, sir. This prisoner was sent in by Cathetet for questioning. I was about to begin. This is not one of Mankar Cameron's chattels from the garden. Who is he? Nothing escapes your vigilance, Kinri. Cathetet wondered as well. This is why he sent him for questioning. Well, carry on. Of course, Kinri. Prisoner, get in the cage. Uh-oh. Prisoner, into the cage now. I'm, I'm in the cage. Oh, boy. Oh, crap. Uh, get ready to heal yourself, Sakid. Ah! Uh. Oh, he stopped the cage. He stopped the cage right at the lava. Is the is the Dramora Kinreve gone? Yes, he left. <laughs> you can just hear someone getting tortured. There's the next no area. way for me to cross. But the Master's immortality does have its uses. I will distract the Dramora for as long as I can. Wow. Eldmill told me he would meet me further into the caves where he would be able to remove my bands of the Chosen from my wrists. I should continue searching for a way through these caves to Mankar Cameron's palace. He's going to go distract the prison guards. Because, yeah, he's right. I guess whoever dies here, they just get brought back. They're not really dead. I will kill you while we're at it, Clan Fair. Nice. Let's sneak our way out of here, shall we? Another Storm Atronach. Boy, Hatred Soul is throwing down on our enemies. It's a good, good bow to have. Like I said, most like I think it is the best bow in Oblivion. Really. And we got more Dramora. Okay. We could sneak around them. Holy cow, three of them? Orthe's key. Nice. Oh crap. That guy's like, what is this? The storm after an oxman killed. N uh, nothing, sir. Nothing. Dang it. 
Okay, I got that guy's key out of that chest over there. Sacrificial altar, I could sleep on it. That's a good idea. Let's go to sneak behind him. Come on, don't see us. Oh, we're right back here. We just went around. Elder Mill. Okay, we jumped across. Now let's head out here to the right. He's just gonna probably respawn down the tunnel somewhere. How would that be? Yeah, I can distract the Dramora and I'm just gonna die and come back again. Oh crap. Get out of my face. Got him. Well, they don't have anything on them though. I guess that makes sense. Storm Atronach. I see another door we can go through. Nice. Scatter him. Thank you, whoever's in the cage. Thanks for the commentary. Look out! Really, really need that. Appreciate it. Let's fix up here. The bands emit a red glow and the door opens. Okay. Getting further into this place now. Oh, oh, that's him. You scared me. You made it. I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. Please. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Thank goodness. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. I am not without power. Sure. I'd be glad for your help. I am no match for Mankar Cameron, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on. This Eldermill guy, I guess we're going to find out how strong you really are. Something tells me you're not very well strong. Well done, oh. champion. What the? Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. You think I mock you? Hang on, let me put back on my gauntlets. Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of fate. You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn, Tamriel Reborn. I welcome you, if you truly are the agent of fate. I tire of the self-styled heroes who set themselves in my path only to prove unworthy in the event. Dang it. Some crap about me being the agent of fate, and he knows that I'm the agent of fate, and wants to sleep with me or something. I don't know. He's one of those crazy religious zealot cultist people. So, leader of a cult, you know, probably pretty trustworthy guy. I'll look at Clanfer. Did you really fall in the lava? Uh, I am powerful. Let me come with you. I can fall in the lava and kill myself. Very well, Elder Mill. Come. <laughs> Let us watch you die together. Wow. He was a great help, folks. Look at that. Please tell me that's the way out of here. Yep. Door to paradise. Sweet. Oh, look. He's back alive. Elder Mill, you're alive. That's awesome. Oh, there's a statue to Mayrun's Dagon up here, I think. Let's go check it out. This is what he looks like, huh? Let's take a look. Yeah, that's pretty scary. He's got a bunch of arms and a huge battle axe. Kind of looks like, uh, what was that guy in Mortal Kombat? Shiva's uh, husband. Goro? Kind of looks like that a little bit. Oh, there it is. We've reached the place where he is. What the? Hey, I killed them. That's his kids. Not shocked they would be here. You did not expect to see me again, did you? 
You have no grasp of the power that my father has at his command. You have no idea the you power think of the Aedra. Soon Mehrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the mythic age. Yeah, my and our victory will be complete. Hmm, I'm sure. Come. My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. You know, I really just want to put my blade across your throat, but for some reason I feel compelled to follow. Come, my new friend. We will meet them in battle together. Whatever happens, good luck. Well, well, well. It isn't Mankar himself. I'll be taking that amulet from you, uh, there, Mankar. I have waited a long time for you, champion of old Tamriel. You were the last gasp of a dying age. You breathe the stale air of false hope. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The walls between our worlds are crumbling. The mythic dawn grows nearer with every rift in the firmament. Soon, very soon, the lines now blurred will be erased. Tamriel and Oblivion rejoined. The mythic age reborn. Lord Dagon shall walk Tamriel again. The world shall be remade. The new age shall rise from the ashes of the old. Liar. My vision shall be realized. Weakness will be purged from the world, and mortal and immortal alike purified in the refiner's fire. What do you have as your final words? My long duel with the Septims is over, and I have the mastery. The Emperor is dead. The Amulet of Kings is mine. And the last defender of the last ragged Septim stands before me, in the heart of my power. Prepare to die. Let us see who at last has proved the stronger. I found Mankar Cameron in his place of Karak Agayalal. Now I must kill him and take the Amulet of Kings back to Tamriel. Goodbye, Mankar Cameron. Holy crap. Well, Raven, it's been a lot of fun killing you for the second time. I have to pop some potions here. It's been a lot of fun killing you for the second time. Send my regards to uh, wherever you're going. I hope it's the deepest, darkest pits of hell. Another mundane ring. Holy crap. Well, there's our 100% resistance to magic, everyone. No, Eldermail! This is what he wanted, though. He wanted to be free. Where's your daughter? I'm gonna kill her right in front of you. Because you're both awful people. I'm gonna put her in the ground. Nice hitting her with your own spell there, Dad. Say goodbye to your daughter. She will not be coming back this time until paradise is at an end. Goodbye. Mancar Cameron's robe. Reflect damage, spell absorption. The Amulet of Kings. I wish Joffrey was here to say that ten more times. Greater... Okay, I got another Staff of Storms. Huh. Oh. Oh, crap. Paradise is crumbling. I don't know what to do. Heal ourselves. Heal ourselves. Oh. Did we get teleported out? I killed a Mankar Cameron. Upon his death, the paradise he had created dissolved around me, and I found myself back in Cloud Ruler Temple with the Amulet of Kings in my hand. I must give the amulet to Martin. At last, we have prevailed. Rest easy, Blades. You found a way back. Does this mean... Mankar Cameron is dead. You did it. You defeated him. Then you have it. 
You have the amulet of kings. Right here. Here you go. This belongs to you, my lord. Belongs to me? The amulet of kings? So you and Joffrey have said. If it is true, if the emperor really was my father, then I should be able to wear it. Only those of the Septim blood can wear the amulet of kings. The suspense is killing us all. Put on the amulet, your majesty. Yes, of course. What am I waiting for? After all, this is my destiny. And no man can deny his destiny. You see? You are Uriel's son. I didn't really need the amulet to tell me that. I've known it was true since you first told me him back in Kavach. But it is one thing to talk of becoming emperor. And quite another to actually be the emperor. I can only imagine. But you are, in fact, the Emperor, my lord. Not yet. Until we light the Dragonfires, the gates are open, and Mehrun's Dagon's invasion continues. While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Ricardo. He waits for us in the Imperial City. Why meet Ocado? Chancellor Ricardo is the head of the Elder Council. The Council rules in the Emperor's absence. I don't expect any objections from the Elder Council but we should defer to their authority. Let's go to the Imperial City at once, before the enemy can recover from Manka Cameron's death. Let's go. Good evening, sir. Ah, good, good evening, evening sir. All right, Hail. let's roll. Alas, my lord, here we are at the White Gold Tower. Your destiny awaits within. Come. Let us meet with Chancellor Okato. Well, we've done it. We've secured a future for the Empire. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. Thank you. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. Thank you. Your, your friend there just greeted me as well. Martin? Martin, you coming? There you are. Good deal. Welcome to the Imperial. Oh, this is exciting. Light the dragon fires. We have arrived in the Elder Council Chamber. I must formally present Martin's claim to Chancellor Okado, the head of the Elder Council. Imperial Palace. And you better not contest it or I'll take his head off, petty elf. I've been expecting you. The full council has already considered the matter of Martin's claim to the Imperial throne in detail. And? Martin Septim, on behalf of the Elder Council. I Chancellor accept your Okado. claim to the what? Imperial Chancellor throne. Okado. We Chancellor Okado, the city is under attack. What? Oblivion gates have opened and Daedra are inside the walls. Oh, crap. The guard is overwhelmed. Courage, soldier. We have an emperor again. Your Highness, what are your orders? Shall the guard fall back to the palace? No. If we let ourselves get besieged in the palace, we're doomed. We must get to the Temple of the One immediately. As you command, sire. Guards, form up and protect the Emperor. To the Temple of the One. Holy crap, the Imperial City is under attack. Oblivion gates have opened all over the city and Daedra are pouring out. I must escort Martin safely to the Temple of the One where he can light the dragon fires, close the obli Oblivion gates, and save the city. Let's us go, my lord. Oh, they're in! Get him! Oh, get him! Get him! Good thing the Emperor knows how to fight. You're in better health than your dad was. Boris, let's go! One last adventure for you and I, I feel. We have to get to the Temple of the One. The danger are overwhelming. We're not going to be able to make it. And I have no battle horn guards here to help me this time either. Let's keep moving. we got to get to the Temple of the One. The guards will hold them off on the rear. Run! Let's not tarry, my lord. We can do this. There's the Temple of the One. we just got to get you inside. Here, take him, Boris. I'll take these ones in our way. 
get out of our way. I'm just trying to stun as many as I can so we can make it. <gasps> Holy crap, what is that? Mayroon's Dagon is here. The barriers between Oblivion and Tamriel have been destroyed. Our only hope now is to somehow defeat Mayroon's Dagon and cast him back into Oblivion. Perhaps Martin will know what to do. Yeah, that's a little above our pay grade. I bet that doesn't work. Ah, paralyze! Oh, shocker. Didn't work. Holy crap, that is a danger prince. We're too late. Mayroon's <laughs> Dagon is here. There's a, there's a Demora the there, sir. Lighting the dragon fires will no longer save us. The barriers that protected us from Oblivion are gone. Can we cast him back into Oblivion? I don't see how. Mortal weapons may hurt him. But now that he is physically here in Tamriel, they have no power to actually destroy him. What about the Amulet of Kings? Uh, Mr. Dramora, can you can you scoot over? No? Okay. Wait, yes. The amulet was given to mortals by Akatosh. It contains his divine power. But how to use this power against Dagon? The amulet was not intended as a weapon. I have an idea. One last hope. I must reach the Dragonfires in the Temple of the One. But you said it was no use. You'll just have to trust me. I know now what I was born to do, but I'll need your help. I have to get past Mehrun's Dagon somehow. I'll get you to the temple. Then I'll do the rest. Lead on, my friend. Let's take care of this Dramora. Follow me. I'm with you. One last time. Into the jaws of oblivion we go. Oh my gosh, the Legion, Legion's being absolutely massacred. We have to find another way around. Oh, he hit his own guy. Perfect. Dang, we can't... We can't... Can we get around Mayroon's Dagon? Here, this way. Martin, this way. There has to be another way we can get through. Are we able to cut this way at all? No. Look out, my lord. There are danger everywhere. Oh! Chancellor Okado's even fighting him right now. This is a bad situation. Most of the guard are dead. Thanks for shooting me with an arrow there, Imperial Guard. Oh, Mayroon's Dagon is wailing on us right now. Come on, Martin. Let's go in here quickly. We don't have much time. Martin and I are inside the Temple of the One. I must get Martin to the Dragonfires or all hope is lost. Hurry, let's go. I do what I must do. I cannot stay to rebuild Tamriel. What? The task falls to others. No. Farewell. You've been a good friend in the short time that I've known you. No, Martin. Now I must go. The dragon waits. What are you doing? What on earth are you doing, Mayroon's Holy! Oh. What? is shattered. Dagon is defeated. With the dragon's blood and the amulet of kings, we have sealed the gates of oblivion forever. The last of the Septims passes now into history. I go gladly, for I know my sacrifice is not in vain. I take my place with my father and my father's fathers. The third age has ended, and a new age dawns. When the next Elder Scroll is written, you shall be its scribe. The shape of the future 
the fate of the Empire. These things now belong to you. Um... What happened? Where's Martin? I must congratulate him. Mayroon's Dagon is defeated. Cast back into oblivion. We've won! Martin is gone. What do you mean, gone? We saw the Temple Dome explode. The Avatar of Akatosh appear. That was Martin? Yes. He shattered the amulet. The joined blood of kings and gods. The amulet of kings. The divine power of Akatosh. And Martin's blood, too. Then Martin is gone. But the gates are sealed. Yes, sealed forever. Merun's Dagon and his ilk can never threaten Tamriel again. Martin is dead. But he died an emperor, and a hero to rival Tiber Septim. What about the Empire now? This victory is not without cost. We've lost Martin Septim. What an emperor he might have made. His sacrifice was necessary, but it leaves the Empire without an emperor. I don't know what happens now. There are troubled times ahead for the Empire. Indeed. But now is not the time to worry about the future. Let's just give thanks that we're alive. Amen to that. Akatosh, rest your soul, Martin. You, you're a hell of a guy. So, what's next? In my capacity as Lord High Chancellor of the Elder Council, I hereby proclaim you... Champion of Cyrodiil. Oh, that's a fancy title. And, as a small token of gratitude for your service to the Empire, I have ordered a suit oh. of Imperial Dragon armor made for you. Excellent. Uh, what is the Elder Council going to do now? We are now the stewards of the Empire. We can hold the Empire together in the short term. But to be honest... I don't know what will happen. The provinces have been restive for years, even before the latest crisis. With no legitimate claimant for the Dragon Throne, troubled times lie ahead. Yeah, the last time there was no claim to the throne, we had the Interregnum in Elder Scrolls Online. And millions of people died, so yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen again. Um, any last words on Martin? I know he's gone. As the Chancellor of the Elder Council, my concern now is how to choose his successor. Fair enough. Um, what, is, what is Imperial Dragon Armor? Imperial Dragon Armor is normally worn only by the Emperor himself, but you deserve no less, Champion. Wow. Thank you. The dragon will stand forever as a memorial to what you and Martin did for all of Tamriel. Welcome. Oh. Please, don't be shy. Jeez, this place got trashed. I guess there was a Daedric Prince standing right here 20 minutes ago. There he is, our old pal Martin Septum. Rest easy. Kind of interesting what he said there at the end, how when the next Elder Scrolls written, we will be its uh, author. It's kind of an interesting proposition if you really think about it. I, a lot of people that played this game... Maybe haven't touched it for a while, and they're more familiar with its, you know, sequel, Skyrim. Really think about what that means, and think about the repercussions of what just happened. If you haven't played Skyrim, or you're not familiar with the story somehow, um, maybe one day we'll we'll cover that, and I'll tie them together for you. But, like Okado said, there are definitely some dark times ahead for the Empire. Well, the final part of the main quest. This is literally the last quest for the main story. Um, it will be waiting for me at the armory in two weeks. So, you know, after everything we've been through, Joffrey's dead. The Emperor's dead. I'd say we go home and rest for a few weeks at Battlehorn. 
All right, well, after a few weeks of resting, just hanging out around Battlehorn, um, I got this message. The Imperial Dragon Armor ordered for me by Chancellor Okado should be ready. I could pick it up from the armory in the Imperial Legion compound. Awesome. And then this freaking guy showed up. Go to his shrine. See what lies ahead. So this guy shows up by my bed like two days ago, and he's like, My lord, Hermaeus Mora summons you to his shrine. So if you remember all the way back at the Daedric Shrine episode, geez, the king, calm down. He's upset. He's still pissed that Martin died. Anyways, um, I said there was going to be a bonus quest. There is one more Daedric Shrine quest. And uh, we might go check it out. We What's might go check story? it out. I am bringing out the sword of our ancestors. The dragon sword of Lanelin is going to be riding with us now. That's a few less points of physical damage with the 30 points of fire and uh, the absorb health makes up for it. Let's head over to the prison district here. And our armor should be ready for pickup. We're chilling in our archmage's robes. They're a little, a little easier to get a move around the house and around town with Speak. when you're not expecting to be attacked by hordes of Daedra. So. Oh, yeah, it is. Never mind. The armory. Here we go. Final part of the main quest right here. Oh, there it is. Imperial dragon armor, just like you wore at the battle for Bruma. I've received the imperial dragon armor that Chancellor Okado had forged for me. Well, let's get it fixed up and try it on, shall we? There it is. It's got a lot less armor rating than uh, than our previous set because we're only at 65 instead of 85. So it's definitely not as strong as glass. Not even close. Probably more like a mid-tier armor in armor rating. But that's okay. Let's look. Resist shock 20%. Fire 20%. Poison 11%. Magic 11%. And frost 20%. So between this and our mundane ring... We're going to be pretty impervious to spells. And no, it's not the best armor in the game. But it's freaking awesome. Look at that. We've definitely done our our ancestors in the... Uh, back in Hammerfell. We've done them some, some honor for sure. And we look freaking awesome. Uh, just so you know, I know we got a second mundane ring. It wouldn't let me equip it. Apparently can't have two mundane rings on. It's like it would make you invisible to magic or something. <laughs> Go figure. But that's okay. And we still have the amulet with fire shield on. What I can do and what I will do is I'll probably, to get our armor up, I'll probably go make a second ring and give it a different element shield. So that that one's our amulet's fire. But I think I can stack it if I stack it with a different kind of shield. So I can probably go stack it with the 20 points of... Uh, of, uh, I'll go check our Transcendent Sigil Stones, but I bet I have one that does, I don't know, Frost or Shock. Either one can be useful. So the big question becomes, where do we go from here? I mean, what a what a great ending to this game. I really enjoyed the main quest of Oblivion um, quite a bit. And I thought the ending was very befitting, especially when Skyrim came out and you get to see what happened 200 years later. We'll, we'll, uh, maybe we'll visit that another time. But I have some good news for you enjoying this Let's Play. If you're not, then sorry. But uh, we've got some more to do. And I think Zakim wants to go wander around a little bit. Maybe we'll bump into the next big thing. Who knows?